How's it going everybody, it's the man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here, and in today's video I'll be bringing you some more Black Ops 2 Uprising multiplayer DLC gameplay, and for this gameplay that you guys will be looking at, we are going to be using the MSMC submachine gun on the new Uprising map, and this map is titled Magma. Now regularly, people don't really like the map Magma too much, I don't really know under, I mean I semi-understand why they don't really enjoy it, basically because the lava, but for me right now, I'm really loving all the maps in Uprising. If I had to choose one that I really didn't like too much that I could get rid of or just take out of the Uprising map pack, I would definitely take Vertigo out. I mean, I love Magma, I love Encore, I absolutely love Studio, which is a remake of Firing Range from Black Ops 1, if you guys haven't noticed already or anybody's ever told you. But really, guys, I would definitely take out Vertigo if I could only have three, but that's beside the point. I'm here to review this. I'm here to review the Uprising map pack for Black Ops 2, and the way I want to review it and how I'm going to review it is I'm going to tell you guys my favorite things, and then I'm going to tell you guys my least favorite things. So starting off with the pros, basically, versus the cons. The pros about this map pack are that you can tell that they put effort into it. I'm positive, I'm positive that they put a lot of effort into this the way you can tell is because the colors are so great the colors look absolutely amazing just the sharpness of the way the game looks I mean just the sharpness of the way maps look you you can tell they put a lot of work into these map packs and just the way the game flows I mean they, they, they could have just randomly put this all together they didn't need to give the map any certain type of flow I mean people would have complained people would have nagged and nagged and nagged but people wouldn't have really like noticed I mean regular players like public players who just play like on the weekends or whatever don't play hardcore like me and probably you too but really guys I mean people wouldn't have noticed I mean, but personally, for the YouTubers and me and you, we would notice if the map flowed. I mean, like, I, in this gameplay, I noticed that it was flowing. I know that there was a flow, and I realized how to control this map. And what I did was I made sure I ran around the outskirts, and whenever I died, I believe I got 50 kills and only 6 deaths. Pretty good gameplay by my standards. But really, guys, when I noticed when I died, I was like, oh, I, I was in the middle. I know why I died. I mean, I don't know why I continually make those mistakes over and over. Maybe I'm just getting a, a I don't know even know what's happening. I don't know. Sometimes I just randomly run in the middle, feeling like I, I, I'm on a big streak and I can outgun everyone. But really, Realistically, I really can at all. But really, guys, this is a great game. I really love Black Ops 2. I really like how they actually gave effort to give good names to all the maps. Like Magma, obviously, that makes sense. But Uprising is a great name. It's a great name. It makes you want to buy the map pack. I mean, when you hear Uprising, you don't want it to be like Killing or Death or something crazy like that. You want it to be like Uprising. So props to them for giving it a good name. Props to them for naming it Magma. Props to them. Vertigo sounds really cool. Sounds like something I would play. Studio sounds really, really cool. Studio is just a remake of Firing Range, like I said before. And just the way way overall studio is done just the way studio is done it looks absolutely glorious guys I mean to be honest studio is probably the best looking map I've ever seen in Call of Duty I mean I don't mean to brag around about Treyarch or Black Ops 2 but I really want to tell you guys studio if you guys aren't gonna purchase this uprising map pack I suggest you guys to definitely take a double take on that I really think you guys should definitely purchase this just because the maps are so cool I mean it's like computer art like my dad told me this morning when he saw that I was playing the uprising DLC he said this is like art it's basically art that you get to play on and it's just just an overall great time. Alrighty everybody, so for my final verdict on whether you guys should purchase the Black Ops 2 Uprising Map Pack Multiplayer DLC definitely has to conclude on which console you guys play on. Now if you guys play on the Xbox 316, the Map Pack did come out for you today, if you guys are watching this video on April 16th, which most of you probably are, but whether you guys play on the PS3 or the PC, I don't know if it comes out a month later, I don't know if it comes out 6 years later, I don't know if it comes out within the next 5 minutes. I really don't personally know guys, but I really think you guys should buy this on every console. I mean, I really cannot, cannot understand how beautiful these maps would look if you guys were playing on the PC because we all know PC it can have a little bit lower grade graphics but it can also have really 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 high grade graphics like triple the graphics on console depending on how good your PC and GPU is but let's not get into that too much but tell me guys down in the comment section below if you guys have already bought this map pack or if you guys are gonna buy this map pack and tell me what your favorite map is out of this map pack so I hope you guys enjoyed this video remember to give me a big thumbs up down below if we could try and hit 125 likes on this video that'd be really cool it's been Quantum FT. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter down, of course, in the description below. Make sure to go ahead and like my Facebook page. Add this video to your favorites if it was one of your favorite videos. It's been Quantum FT, and I'll see you next time.